I know I'm a little late, but I'm gonna throw my hat into this mess. Final Fantasy 16 is a Final Fantasy through and through, always will be, and it's always going to be. I need you people to understand that turn base is a thing. It always will be a thing, and it's fantastic. My favorite Final Fantasy game is 10. Second to that is 12. Third, well, I don't even think third. I think the one I will always come back to time and time again is Tactics. I love those three. They're turn based, and 12, again, is one of the most fantastic Final Fantasy games you can ever play, but that's not about what we're talking about. Now, I get it. Turn based is iconic to the Final Fantasy franchise. It's literally how it started. It's literally what it's been, what it's always been, but it's not going to be that way ever. If not, it might be a spinoff later on. Like, imagine that, a spinoff that goes back into your roots. That's going to be Final Fantasy later on the line. Now, let me explain myself for you guys. Back at the early years of gaming, you know, the 8-bit, the 32-bit, and 64-bit era, we had turn base, and that was that was great, that was fantastic, that inspired a whole era of gaming. But that golden era, if you want to call it, literally lasted from 1 to 6. After that, we got the in-between polygon, I'll call it 64 era, the fantasy games, I don't really know what to call it, but we got that from seven to nine. As you can see, more was added, more cinematics. Everything was still Final Fantasy because it was turn-based. After that, we got the 3D, which was 12, uh, 12, my bad. Well, 10 to 12. And then we have the, the action slowly come into Final Fantasy. And I mean that, slowly come into Final Fantasy. 13 was literally just spectacle. It was just a spectacle fighter. Or a spectacle RPG in my eyes, no lie. It, it, all these effects going off all at once, fantastic, looks beautiful, but this is all a spectacle. I am barely doing anything. Yes, by the way, I skip 11 and 14, they're online games, completely different. But 15 comes out, and I already knew from this point on that Final Fantasy will never be turn based again. And I thought it's coming a long way. Naturally, this is the progression of Square Enix as a company. I mean, guys, we have Final Fantasy VII come out, and literally all these other spinoffs that barely did anything with turn-based combat. I know it's spinoff title, and most spinoff titles can do whatever they want when it comes to the action of the game, but isn't this telling? Wasn't it obvious that this was going to be the natural progression of Square Enix as a company, as their progression? I mean, I saw Kingdom Hearts come out, and I'm like, huh, this is supposed to be an RPG? Okay, I get that. Kingdom Hearts 2 was an action RPG, and then Kingdom Hearts 3 and Birth of Feet were just all action. Don't at me, it's all action. This video ain't gonna be long, I'm just gonna be ranting, but in all regard, this was obvious. If you've been paying attention to the trends of the companies, this is why you have to always look at the developers and people making it. The people who made turn-based combat are either long gone or making their own things now. It's about time for us as gamers to acknowledge the fact that the things we love have changed. Square Enix is a multi, I want to say billion dollar company at that point. I don't really know. I haven't seen the numbers of quarterly annual reports. But at this point, we know that they're so focused on the spectacle. Because let's be honest, Fantasy VII Remake, it's a spectacle. Like, it's beautiful. It's completely different. They're remixing the whole story and everything. But it, this all looks fantastic. It didn't need to go this hard. But it is. And they know to capture an audience and more and more engaging gameplay is needed. What I see in Final Fantasy 16, well, it's quite simple. I see Tails. I see Star Ocean. And I see the Sino Blade Chronicles. That's not a bad thing. These are still well made RPGs. And now Final Fantasy, or Square Enix, is following in those footsteps. Let's be honest, the gameplay, Fantasy X, is, in all honesty, nothing compared to Tales of the Abyss. Or oh, Tales of Legendia. Yo, this game needs more love. Tales of Legendia needs way more love. Listen guys, it's not a bad thing. It's what's going on here is just a natural progression of a company that wants to make more and more money and they're making good products. Listen, we could have got this game, this format of game, massively reduced and shitty, but it's not. 
Square Enix does not miss when it comes to their flagship title. And they're doing everything by the books right. This is a complete experience from head to toe. Not a single corner was cut when making this product. I can trust Square Enix to not fuck it up. So I can trust you as the fan base, as the players, to understand what I'm about to say. The indie scene has everything you want and more. I know it's not going to have the high budget that you want it to have. But that's the trade-off. They are cheaper, but they're really well-made stories. These stories, like indie games, go places you would never imagine to go to. But just take fear and hunger. That is the most realistic interpretation of a DD &D campaign where the dungeon master hates you i love this game i'll make a beat about it later it's a long time i still have not been i suck at this but i would have never gotten this experience from mainstream gaming and i need you guys to understand that your games are still there the old fantasy is still there play them in late i don't care what you do but at least let people love what's new i like this but I know I can also get the other stuff I want. The actual real JRPG turn based experience from Steam. This has been definitely not a box. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you want to yell at me, please do. I want to have an actual discussion about this. I don't want to just talk to the void. Anyways, have a good one.